The custom view can take a snapshot of your screen. That can include, if you choose to include, print settings or set print area, hidden columns and or rows, and filter data. And that can be found up here on the view tab because it is a view, more specifically a custom view in the workbook views group. Click on custom views. And let's go ahead and add one. And this one's going to be our original. I always like to start with the original so I have something to go back to. And you can include in this view, if you have any, set print areas or hidden rows, columns, and filters, which we don't, so it doesn't matter if I leave them checked or not. I'll go ahead and leave them checked and click OK. That's my original view. Now let's go ahead and do a custom view. Let's do filters. I'm going to go ahead and select my range because if I don't select my range here, when I add the filter and I select a cell within the database here, it's going to add the filters up at the top because, well, I didn't do a good job at distinguishing as in this example, the data and my header row from everything else and the text up above. So for example, if I select a cell in a database that I did not build correctly or that Excel can delineate between here and what's up above it, something that's not part of it, then when I come up and click on the Home tab and go to the Editing group, click on Sort and Filter down to Filter, ugh, it adds the filters up here and I don't want filters up here, I want them for the labels for each column. So you see what I'm saying? Not really defined. Let me go ahead and hit undo and then select the range here and then try it again. Sort and filter to filter and there we go. So I can go ahead and click on the drop down arrow for one, unselect all and say I want antibacterial, anti-cancer, click OK. And there we go, we just have those two categories up. So I can go ahead and take a snapshot or a custom view of what I have here by coming up clicking on the view tab going to workbook views group clicking on custom views and click on add and this can be my antibacterial and cancer so we can go ahead and click OK that's the custom view for there and how about if we go ahead and clear this click on the funnel and say select all and then click OK so we're back to where we started or I could have gone back to my original view that worked and let's go ahead and click and drag columns H and I, right click, and let's go down to hide those because it will take a snapshot and include any hidden columns and or rows. This time we'll just do columns and also a set print area. So if I say when it comes to printing, I want in this custom view not only these two columns hidden, but also the print area to be the C's for cinnamon, clear skin, and clove. And to set that print area, come up here and click on the page layout tab. Go to the page setup group, click on print area to set the print area, then click off and I don't know if you can see this, but there's a thin gray border around what I had selected here. Then let's go ahead and take a snapshot of it, come back up here, click on the view tab to the workbook views group, custom views, click on add and my final custom view. Well, you get the idea. For the purpose of this training video, I wanted to spell it out, what we did. We have the print range with the C oils and two hidden columns. So I could say H and I. Then click OK. Then we can come up here, click on Custom Views, and we want to see one. Select it. Click on Show. And there you go. There's the original. Now you can imagine that if you had a lot of custom views to come up here and click once, and then come down here and select it, that would be a second click, and then click Show, that would be three clicks. Instead, you can add this custom view up here on the Quick Access Toolbar by right-clicking, going down to Customize the Quick Access Toolbar, changing it from Popular to All Commands, and scrolling down to the C's, and there it is, Custom Views. Double-click to add it over to the right, click Okie Dokie, and there you go. Now see if this isn't much easier to access by clicking on a drop-down arrow. Yeah, you get to see them there. You don't have to have that extra click. This requires two clicks instead of three. Whew. Now this training video was worth everything that you paid for because I saved you a click. Go ahead and you can choose original and then click on the drop down arrow. We can do the print range with the two hidden columns. Well, that's just fun. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.